Even if you've been playing baseball since you were a kid, there's a chance you might be wearing your glove wrong or could be wearing your glove better. Let me explain. By the way, you guys, stay till the end for one more bonus tip. Some of you might be saying, there's five holes and I have five fingers. What could I be doing wrong? I get what you're saying, but there really are multiple ways to wear your glove. And many of you, probably all of you know, well duh, some people wear it two in the pinky. We need to talk about why though. Who should be wearing two in the pinky? What about three in the pinky? There are people who do that. There's a really solid argument just to say that doing what's most comfortable is gonna make you play the best. What if getting comfortable with something new can make you better? Let's just start by talking about the first way to wear your glove. I would consider this the traditional way of wearing the glove. Simply wearing the glove with one finger in each stall. Whether you go finger in or finger out is really up to you. So that means that you're wearing the glove in the way that they built the glove to be worn, meaning yes, they, it really should be like the best way to wear, it, right? Your other option is going two in the pinky. Once again, finger in, finger out, that's up to you. By far the biggest difference comes in the pocket. This is me wearing the glove traditional. When I close it, the thumb is meeting the like middle and ring finger. Whereas when I switch it to two in the pinky, when I close it, I'm meeting my pinky rather than my middle and finger. I messed up. So who is this best for? The quick and easy answer is third base and outfield. Pitchers can kind of do whatever they want. If you really wanted to, you could do this and get away with it. What about shortstop and second base? Why shouldn't they or why should they? Let's start by why shouldn't they? As we know, traditional creates a smaller pocket. Smaller pocket means quicker transfers. Quicker transfers means more outs. But that's just talking about transfers. What about the initial fielding of the ground ball? The biggest difference when you're fielding a ground ball, two in the pinky or traditional, is gonna be the angle of the glove. As you can see here, I'm currently fielding the ball traditional, and my glove is sort of at a 45 degree angle, and now there's nothing wrong with that. But now that I've switched to two in the pinky, the glove naturally is resting more like 180 parallel with the ground. You could actually argue that it's easier to field the ground ball two in the pinky. In the end, you guys, it's really mostly just about trying out both, figuring out what works best for you and doing that. But what about our outfielders? What should they be doing? So as we said before, I'm going to get a bigger pocket by going two in the pinky. You see that? Major difference. Go ahead and you can comment all your angry things saying I can do what I want. I agree with you. I don't have proof for this, but I believe that when you wear the glove two in the pinky, you have more control of the glove, left, right, up, down. Somebody please prove that right, or prove me wrong. If I'm wrong, I need to know. Now, playing the outfield is not simple, but wearing your glove in the outfield kind of is. Go to in the pinky, bigger pocket, you're gonna catch more things. More uh, things? No, not you don't catch things, you catch only baseballs. So that's the only thing you're trying to catch. By the way, do you like my new hat? Oh, you can buy one. Did you know that? Oh yeah, because I have a new website. Go check it out, ballgloveking.com. Oh yeah, and this. I'm literally wearing the shirt right now. Let's quickly talk about what guys in the pros do. So you're just gonna see everything, two in the pinky, traditional, even on occasion, three in the pinky. But I've seen some really strong opinions out there of guys saying like 95% of the MLB goes two in the pinky and if you don't, you're dumb, basically. I've had people comment that. That's just not true. I'm not gonna put a percentage of who does what. I'm not 100% sure, but it's extremely common to see both two in the pinky and traditional, and one is not necessarily better than the other because in the end, you just need to be a good fielder. Like if you took a gold glove winner and forced them to wear the glove traditional or two in the pinky, it's really not gonna make a difference. They're a good fielder to begin with, but it is important to know why you should wear a glove what way, what the benefits are, and thank you for staying around because now you get the bonus tip. When you guys are watching the pros, if the MLB ever even plays this year, pay attention to how much their hand is sticking out. Is a ton of their hand showing? Is very little of their hand showing like this? Like this is just my wrist. Start paying attention because what you're gonna notice, a lot of MLB players have a ton of their hand showing. Speaking of how MLB players wear their gloves, watch this Manny Machado video because I go super in depth on exactly what he does, how he breaks his glove in, and it was just a fun video to make, so go watch. Watch it.